Okay, here we are back again with more Dragon Age 2 Legacy. Uh, and I popped out back to Kirkwall for momentarily. I did some inventory management, some leveling, some switching around of inventory, some gearing up of various characters and such. Uh, so now I think we're all set to continue. Ah, they told me you were going to be trouble. I'm always trouble. And look, you brought the whole family. How generous. Couldn't I keep him away. I swore to we'd bring him Malcolm Hawk's blood. One way or the other. Why? What does this have to do with my father? The master wants you. I don't ask why. So, it's Corypheus who's after me? What Corypheus wants, Corypheus gets. From us, or from someone. Yeah, you're crazy. Corypheus wants some blood? Sure. Let me just open a vein. Oh, how about a kidney, too? Corypheus, we have done as you command. Your sacrifice is here! You will see the surface once more! Yeah. Face me! Wonka? Sure. This guy. I was about. Maybe you get over there, Varric. I, <gasps> I think I need a rescue here. Okay, so that was the thing. He's dead now. What the? Yeah, what the what? <laughs> Whoa! What is this? I can feel it inside me. Ew! Not sure I want that. The enchantment needed to do that. What did Father know? This is going to take me to Corypheus. And those guys too, probably. I would assume. Uh... Let's see here. So yeah, I have now a new... Staff. It's called the Hawk's Key. It's pretty big, it's large, and in charge.
And, uh, it's uh, gonna help me, I guess, somehow. Not sure how, I guess we'll find out. No, hang on. I wanna make sure there's literally no- see? See? This is why. That's why. <laughs> Alright, now let's go down. So we're in the deep roads again. That's fun. Those sons of bitches. The whole blasted thing sealed over. I guess we should have seen that coming. Yeah, they clearly wanted us in here. And now, of course, we're trapped. Honestly, I probably should have just left. Will you look at that thing? What do you suppose is in there? Uh... I don't know. A lot of dark spawn, probably? And they wonder why I prefer the surface. Right? Now let's make this quick. We're more used to the city on the surface. I think I'll see how the familial epiphany turns out, Blades. I didn't expect you to listen. But be careful. You'll do what you need to. But these things don't always turn out the way you hope she... They will. I know. You don't have to remind me of that. Thanks, Aveline. I don't think there's anything I really want to store. I'm I'm fine for inventory, I think. Probably. Nice. Just kick down the door. Alright, cool. Yeah. Awesome. for eternity. Hunger uh, stilled. Rage smothered. Desire dampened. Pride crushed. In the name of the Maker, so let it be. Wow. Okay. use of demons in this horrid place. 
but I will have no one say any magic of mine ever released one into the world. Who was that? I feel like I know that voice. It sounded like father, but how? That's a very good question. A very good question indeed. I guess we'll have to explore further and figure that out. All of this. Under... Kirkwall. Wonderful. You never get rid of them. Not yeah, completely. no wonder. No wonder Kirkwall so oh, fucked up. Hard to say, isn't it? But I can suffer the Wardens. I don't know. The Wardens seem pretty shady to me sometimes. Privilege to the Wardens. All we hear is that this is one of the great Grey Warden secrets. It must be protected at all costs. As usual, we're most concerned with deceiving our own people. But why hide that the Deep Roads were shaped not only by the Dwarves, but also by us? I found records dating back to 1004 TE, the wake of the First Blight. Early Wardens discovered that some Darkspawn could think and speak and commanded portions of the Horde even after the Archdemon's death. A few could wield magic with the skill of a Tevinter Magister, and the Wardens greatly feared them. It was here, in the Vimark Mountains, that, the, that Warden Sasha Miri set her trap to capture and study the greatest of these creatures, the one whom they called Corypheus, from Janica's research notes. Yep, this sounds uh, shady to me, guys. This, sh this sounds really shady. Not super impressed. Ah, good. We're popping out of the ground now. Makes perfect sense. I'm stuck. Continue. <laughs> that Did is not they... a dark spawn. Did they find it? The dwarves. I heard them looking, digging. How do you bring the key here? The key? You mean this? How is this a key? Magic. Old magic it is. Magic from the blood. It made the seals. It can destroy them. So, are you Corypheus? I came in here to find Corypheus. Do you know where or what he is? Do not say his name. He will hear you. Do not wake him. Not when you hold the key. Awesome. More Let crazy. You want to drink my blood too? Blood? The blood of the hawk. Are you the hawk? I guess. Yes. I'm I a hawk. magic on you. Uh, yeah, but a little you bit. you hold the key. The key to his death. Yes, I can show you out. Yes. So what the hell are you? Who are you? What's wrong with you? You ask me that? I am the one who belongs here, not you. You are no dark spawn. You're not a dark spawn oh, either. It's warden issue. No one has that. You hear it, no? Hear it calling. I smell it in you. I know the way out. Follow me. Down and in. Down and in. Oh, great. I'm supposed to trust you, <laughs> because huh? Because I always like to follow the advice of tainted, crazy people. Not crazy. No. Trust me. I know the prison's secrets. Okay. The seals hold us in. Anything comes in. Nothing ever leaves. Not without the key. You must use it, yes. On the seals. Every seal. You touch the key to it. Only then they open. Only for the hawk. Not back. Not up. Only way out is down. 
and through the heart. Down, down, in the depths. Careful. Things down here, they can get complicated. Yeah, I noticed. All right. <clears throat> but the the crazy dude seems to be right in that there is only there only seems to be one way out of here and that is down. The Warden's Prison. The Grey Warden's Prison in the Vimark Mountains is believed to have been constructed more than a thousand years ago. The original method of construction has been lost to history, but the Warden commanders of the Free Marches have maintained the prison secret through the centuries. The prison is concealed in a great rift in the Vimark Mountains, far from any easily traveled mountain passes. The Wardens themselves have spread rumors of banditry and beasts to prevent explorers from approaching. The prison consists of a central tower built into the rift with magically maintained bridges allowing access at different levels. Each level is sealed by a blood magic ritual in which a mage of untainted blood, so basically a non-Grey Warden mage, uses his own life essence to create a magical barrier that is permeable from the outside, yet impenetrable from within. This one-way access has caused other darkspawn, and perhaps unwary travelers, to be caught within the prison's confines. Those who disappear inside never re-emerge. Well, I'm gonna re-emerge. And how corrupted he is. Remember that. That's what I'm fighting for. I'll arrange a thanking you when we're back in Kirkwall. Indeed. Sure. Make fun of the end of the world. Best time for it, I think. I mean, when else are you gonna make a joke? End of the world seems as good a time as any. Health potion. Is this a seal that he was talking about? I guess so. Well, there's not much I can do except try it, right? <coughs> ah, yeah, that's good. He's not really doing much. Uh-huh. All right, good. Let me guess. The first seal? Two thousand years. The magic holds. Never broken. Give it the key. Let it take the magic back to itself. Absorb it. All who came before. Okay, sure. Let's see here. I like nature damage. So yeah, we get to pick an upgrade. Uh, we can only do one. I can't do all of these. I get to do one per each. For each seal. One upgrade for each seal. Um, so I'm gonna pick... I'm already... This, this staff already does electricity damage. I'm gonna give it a little bonus to nature damage, I believe. That sounds good to me. The blood works. It is good. All this talk about my blood is a little creepy. It is, yes. Are you at least planning to tell me your name? Name? So long since I've said my name. I... I... Lorias. I was Lorias. Oh, okay. There was a, a title, too. Commander. Commander of the Grey. Oh. Like me? That's so far gone. You've had your calling. Yes, the calling. The songs get louder. Only death stops them. 
I am dead. But I never died. So you were a warden. How does a warden end up like this? I, I thought you were immune to the taint. It's more complicated than that, unfortunately. Eventually... The calling. It comes to us all. Hmm. A voice we can't resist. Our death. See, what I like about this is that as a player, having played Dragon Age Origins, I know about the calling and stuff because I played as a warden in Dragon Age Origins. The cool thing about this is that it's this introduces the, introduces the concept to a player who hasn't played Origins, and it also manages to remain in character for Hawk because this is, like, a big secret, right? The wardens keep this a secret. Hawk isn't a Grey Warden. She doesn't know this stuff, so it makes sense that she would be like, what the hell, right? So it's cool because it's a good way... This actually... This exposition actually manages to introduce the concept to a new player without having the character have to seem really stupid uh, in order to do so. Because this is legitimately something that Hawk would not know. So that's one benefit of having different protagonists in each game. Because if I was still playing as the Warden from Origins, like, this would be completely nonsensical for the Warden to not be aware of this, because she already- she would already know that. So, that- that's cool. Anyway, the seal. I felt an opening. If you're a Warden, then do you know what just happened? What does the seal have to do with my blood? <coughs> the magic. It calls to the blood, reads the thoughts of those who hold it. The last Good. to hold it. The hawk. I... I was there when he laid the seals. Before... I became this. I you see. You favor him. Corypheus calls... In the darkness. What waits there? Alright, good. Good. I'm super glad we're making this happen uh so yeah the so it still does electricity damage at its base but now it does plus four nature damage as well which is cool all right let's keep going Um, oh. I see. Where'd Lorias go? He went this way. Um. Beric, let's, let's get you back here. And Carver, let's get you back here, too. Whoops. Charged me. Quite a large shield. Um, the other fun thing about Dragon Age DLC is that they do tend to introduce. They do tend do tend to like to introduce new mechanics. Um, so that is one of them. The shielded Genlock Alphas. Uh, basically, in order to do any serious damage to them, you have to be able to get behind them. So basically, you want your tank to face them, and then uh, everybody else try to get behind him and, and, and take him down from behind. <coughs> 
because the shield basically mitigates like 90% of your damage, uh, forward facing damage. So, continuing downwards. Uh, yeah. Oh, look, another one of these. I'm here for eternity. Hunger stilled, rage smothered, desire dampened, pride crushed. In the name of the Maker, so let it be. We're gonna have to do at least one more of those. We're gonna have to find another one. Aha! those guys um Took a vow. My magic will serve that which is best in me, not that which is most base. See, yeah, that's this that is which is best in me. Yeah. Father used to say that, didn't he? To you and Bethany. She never felt like she could live up to him. I hope they're together, wherever they are. Talking about magic, gossiping about us. That would be nice. I hope so. So yeah, um, that's what I like about Malcolm. That's why I think Hawk, as a mage, regardless of her apostate status, would probably not have any truck with blood magic herself, because Malcolm is extremely anti. Malcolm was extremely anti blood magic and extremely anti demon. He was forced to use it in this one instance. He was literally, he was actually literally blackmailed into it, as we will discover. Um, <clears throat> uh, he did not do it because he wanted to or because he liked blood magic uh so i appreciate that and, and uh that's that's why i play hawk as anti-blood magic as she is skeletal corpse yeah blood-stained girdle huh okay okay good definitely a lot of dark spawn and stuff down here isn't it odd that a darkspawn filled pit is making me feel closer to father? It is weird. It is weird. But also... Interesting? Good? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, lovely. Wonderful. Get you down like this, set you on fire. 
The fire is always fun. Let's do another one like that. Yeah? Good. on this ancient parchment is barely legible, but it appears to concern a rite of silence. In reverence, you will approach the altar. Know that you come into the presence of Dumat. With head, with head bowed, say, Blessed are you, Dumat, silent and strong, secret and wise. We bring you gifts, sacrifices to your greatness. Okay. Some chests. Oh, hello. Here for eternity, hunger stilled, rage smothered, desire dampened, pride crushed. In the name of the Maker, so let it be. Uh huh. Ah, here's the other one. Let's grab you. our freedom, Leandra. Yeah. We can go home now. Us and the baby. We'll be together. I hope it takes after you, love. I would wish this magic on no one. May they never learn what I've done here. Father didn't want a child with magic. No. He got that one wrong twice over. Yep. I guess the warden's looking pretty good right about now. Yeah, you don't understand. Like we've seen in here, what my kind have to deal with every day is just beyond you. That does loom heavy, but everything's in the shadow of the blight. Maker, it's like we're back in Lothering, sniping for no reason. I did sometimes worry for you two. Bethany just wanted to be normal. Yeah. As if I made a good case for it. Huh, you normal? Nobody thinks you're normal. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I deserve that. I miss her and father. Mother's food. You sometimes. <laughs> Good. Only sometimes. Egg. Pretty much, Come yeah. On. This mess down here. 
is not following us out. It's true. I'd actually managed to get some friendship with him. Yeah, well. Boy, I don't even know where the hell I'm going now. Ah, uh, this is the way I came. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go this way. An injury kit. I uh, take what I'll take it. fun. We're having fun, right? This is like family bonding hour with Carver. I'm enjoying it. I don't know which way we should go. This looks like a dead end, maybe, so let's go in here and see what's in here. Dumont Sacrificial Dagger. The writing on this ancient parchment is barely legible, but it appears to be concern a rite of silence. Raise your face and hands to the skies and speak the words, O Dumat, O Lord of Silence, accept these sacrifices made in your name. Grant us your power and all that we seek. Okay. I'm not sure where where this altar of Dumat is, but I guess it's around here somewhere. Anyway, we'll leave it here. As always, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Later!